Hello everyone, we're going to look at our lesson for today, which is on equivalent fractions. Let's go ahead and read what we have here. It says equivalent fractions are fractions that look different, so we we'll circle the look different, but are equal to each other. So they are equal to each other. Then it goes on to say two equivalent fractions may have a different numerator and a different denominator. Alright, so let's look at the first part where it says look different. As we can see, one-third is different from two over six as far as looking different. And one-third and two over six looks different than compared to four over twelve. So they all look different, but they are the same. Let's look at the first tape diagram. The first tape diagram has been divided into three equal parts and one shaded, which is one-third. The second tape diagram has been divided into six equal parts, as you can see. And, excuse me, oops, I write that as five here. That is horrible. Let me erase this, even though you can see that it's five. I'll make it look a little better. Let me go ahead and get my pen back in action and change this to five, voila. And we have six equal parts with two shaded. So in other words, this would be considered to be one third. I just write it out. This is two third and this is three over three, which is one whole. And this would be considered to be one over six. This would be considered two over six, three over six, four over six, five over six, and six over six. And we know six over six is one whole. Three over three is one whole. But what makes this equivalent is that the top tape diagram has been only one part of the square has been shaded, while the tape diagram just below it has been shaded in half. So I'm gonna use a different color. So I just, all that happened was that we just split this in half and we just made two equal parts out of one part of one third. So on the side we can write one third is equal to two over six. Because that's what equivalent simply means. It means that one fraction is the same as another fraction. One third is the same as two over six. And likewise if we look at the third tape diagram, in this case we have twelve equal parts. So we have one, two, write that two better instead of one, <laughs> one, two, three. We have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve equal parts. And each part is out of twelve. So we'll simply write this as a fraction. One over twelve, we'll write. Uh, 2 over 12, we'll write 3 over 12, and we'll just continue that. Each one is a 12 because it's 12 equal parts. So I just continue to go through this. And as you can see, by looking at the shaded part, we have 4 out of 12. And we know 12 over 12, which is here, is the same as 6 over 6. It's the same as 3 over 3 because each one is equal to 1. And I just write it here. We know that 3 over 3 is equal to 1. So in this case, we know that 3 over 3 is the same as 6 over 6. And likewise, we know that 6 over 6 is the same as 12 over 12. Why? Because 6 over 6 and 12 over 12 equals to 1, which makes them the same. So let's go back to our third tape diagram. The third tape diagram has been divided into four equal parts. But notice this is in 12s because we had 12 equal parts for the entire tape diagram. Don't want to just want to stress that. So it's the same as one third here. It's if we look at it, one third here is the same as two over six because it's been divided into 
in half, which made this 2 over 6. Now look at the last tape diagram, which is in 12 equal parts. It has been divided in half twice. So here is one half, and here is another half. So we look at this, we know that one third is also equal to 4 over 12. Don't get this confused by saying it's 8 over 12. Notice it's 4 shaded. Here is 1, 2, 3, 4 shaded out of 12. So 1 third is the same as 4 over 12. And this is just one way of looking at equivalent fractions. We're going to continue to look at equivalent fractions for lesson part 2. So look for it.